Sources in Gammon India have told your channel that they were not consulted by the probe panel that was set up by the DMRC. Therefore, they fail to understand the information basis on which the report has been prepared. Gammon India also claims that they have not yet received the report findings. And well, uh, let's go across to uh, Sanket Upadhyay who joins us live for more on the story. Uh, Sanket, the war of words has erupted between the DMRC and Gammon India. Gammon India is saying that the probe panel has not consulted them. How is this really going to go forward? clear. In this particular case, there are two separate uh, probe panels that are actually probing into the entire Zamrudpur incident. There was one that uh, probe panel set up of five members that we were talking about earlier. This is to, you know, probe the, and, and find out the reasons uh, for why that incident happened where, uh, 11, uh, where six people in fact died. And there is a separate panel, there is a second panel, a uh, one, one member panel set up by the DMRC which actually was constituted to look into the crane snapping incident where you saw the dramatic visuals of the crane falling and snapping. And it is really that incident on the basis of which there has been a war of words between the contractor Gammon India as well as the DMRC. We know the DMRC came out yesterday with the findings of that second report saying that uh, uh, indeed it was the fault of the contractor Gammon India for not actually coordinating that entire rescue operation or relief operation because of which the crane snapped. Now Gammon India has in fact come out and said that it was the fault of uh, the DMRC because they wanted to speed up the entire process. We have learned from our sources in Gammon India that, uh, uh, that clearly states that the DMRC did not even, the pro panel did not even consult them before, uh, you know, findings, uh, before setting out uh, or making public the findings of this second report that uh, was supposed to be out in this particular matter. They also go on to say that they are yet to receive, uh, you know, this report for them to comment further. So clearly it's a war of words between the contractor Gammon India as well as DMRC and what it will do in return is only cast its shadow on that main probe report which is supposed to be, which is likely to be presented today against Gammon India by the DMRC. Well, let's take a look at uh, how the incidents uh, had unfolded. Now, on July 12th, six persons died when a portion of the elevated metro rail under construction near Lady Shiram College in South Delhi collapsed, bringing down a huge mass of steel and concrete. And if that wasn't enough, the next day, three massive cranes deployed to clear the debris of the accident, toppled over in a dramatic spectacle. And uh, let's go back to Sanket. Uh, Sanket, you know, now that you, what you had mentioned, I mean, it seems like it seems to be a blame game that's going back and forth. How do you see it uh, unfolding and, and finally ending? And if I can just add to that, Sanket, uh, do you think that Gammon India can actually take this issue up legally going forward uh, if they do not agree with what the DMRC is saying? And uh, since we've already spoken about a conflict of interest, interest there, do they have legal options? Well, they would have legal options in, in this particular case, but then, you know, one thing we must remember that uh, the projects of DMRC have tremendous amount of political will and they have a deadline to complete, that is 2010. And that is why probably it might not be politically feasible for Gammon India to carry out or explore any legal options in this entire case because clearly E. Sri Dharan as well as DMRC has the much required political will to carry on these projects. Also, a lot will depend on what the union development ministry says on this entire issue because we know for a fact that the report which uh, uh, the DMRC has sought from that five member panel and the five member group would in fact is likely to be presented to the DMRC which would then be given to the union development ministry. So all eyes will be now on that main report that is supposed to be presented and the action that the union development ministry takes. If they pin down the contractor in this particular case, uh, you know, because uh, uh, going by the turn of events and going by how things are unfolding and also the second panel report that we are talking about, there seems to be a war of word between uh, uh, Gammon India as well as uh, the DMRC and going by that, taking this as uh, our peg, probably the DMRC also might want to pin the blame on the, the contractor for uh, speeding up the process of not taking uh, the required steps because if you go by the statements that E. Sri Dharan had made to reporters uh, uh, a few days back, he said that uh, large contractors and, uh, you know, the, the India lacks the capability of carrying out projects like these and there are not enough large contractors right. or big contractors to take up projects of this particular magnitude. So that uh, definitely would entail a lot of war of words between both these parties. But then what eventually happens is something 
something that will uh, be dictated, so to say, by the Union Development Ministry and also by the Delhi government because these are the right. two people who are responsible for whatever success uh, uh, of uh, the DMRC.